although when we looked at different variants of uh, passive optical networks which service the access side that is the user premises uh, we looked at ethernet passive optical network as the most widely prevalent technology and since ethernet is uh, so much in the offing so inherently some mechanism was thought which could actually utilize the presence of ethernet as such so uh, this essentially forms the principle and we look at the corresponding ethernet operation that comes out of that particular principle so uh, if you look at ethernet there is no denying whether we talk about the wired side that is 802.3 ieee 802.3 or the wireless side that is 802.11 Ethernet is the de facto standard on the access side. Um, whether it is smartphones, computers, home side, offices, or an enterprise, the traffic which is carried from the user side to the network side is encapsulated in an Ethernet frame. Ethernet frame has a well known uh, preamble, header, and a payload. So uh, this Ethernet frame is carried between uh, the user device, that is um, a user uh, equipment such as a smartphone um, and a, 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 um, a computer or any other device to the um, stub of that particular network. And then from that particular stub, that is the uh, user equipment or the customer premises equipment to the central office, it is also carried. Uh, on internet and on the other side then there's another network that could be equally an ethernet network so it is from the ethernet on an ip network to an ethernet network so uh, essentially the the requirement arises why not have the intermediate network or the intermediate link for that matter uh, between the user equipment and the central office to be also based on ethernet uh, so essentially ethernet is everywhere and it has monopolized the deployment of ip based networks so much that uh, someone actually thought about uh, proposing a passive optical network purely for the ethernet so here it goes ethernet once it is deployed in the uh, customer premises is in a shared medium that is ethernet is offered either uh, through a uh, hub and spoke topology in which it could be a mere hub, a passive device, or it could be a switched network uh, in which a switch automatically learns the MAC addresses of all the uh, interfaces, aka computers, which are connected to, to that particular switch. So Ethernet frames are carried uh, and shared uh, between transmitted between different users on a LAN uh, in 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 essentially a broadcast manner. So an Ethernet network is a is a um, broadcast medium when it comes to uh, uh, broadcast traffic. So the traffic is isolated only in terms of uh, MAC addresses for one to one communication. This is how Ethernet essentially works. But when we want to transmit Ethernet frames uh, between different uh, ONTs and OLT, we actually have to think about a mechanism which is uh, uh, which allows Ethernet frames to be uh, sent onto a shared medium. For that, again, from the central office, uh, that is the OLT, to the ONU or ONT side. Uh, we have the downstream and on the other side we have the upstream. So on the upstream, the ONT actually transmits Ethernet frames uh, individually towards the OLT uh, by using a certain time slot. Now, in order to make sure that uh, this time slot is not used by any other ONT, some kind of uh, scheduling like TDMA mechanism has to be there. So uh, yes, indeed, there is a mechanism uh, known as um, request uh, and grant mechanism, 
by a famous protocol called MPCP protocol. We'd, we'd, we'd look at it in due detail subsequently. So this is how the upstream traffic is transmitted. Um, the overall control of MPCP uh, that manages traffic uh, uh, partitioning in a time division multiplexed manner from different uh, uh, ONTs uh, uh, actually is done by the OLT as the central entity. Um, so uh, when this particular uh, kind of mechanism is to be introduced, then uh, EPON comes up with a new kind of physical layer. Introducing a new physical layer means uh, some additional kind of uh, encapsulation or uh, framing. So uh, not much changes when it comes to Ethernet frame. Uh, it is the same IEEE 802.3 frame structure that is used between the uh, central office and the ONT. Uh, but there is a slight introduction of a physical layer. Um, uh, so that is that is something which is uh, uh, which is modified here. As far as the downstream traffic is concerned, uh, it can be uh, any. As if if you if you recall, we had the peer to peer relationship and peer to multi peer relationship. So it can be simply uh, broadcast in the downstream, but uh, uh, it can also be organized to make sure that each uh, uh, ONT does not receive traffic for meant for other ONTs. Uh, we would look at that in subsequent modules.